it's a sobering statistic. 20 people under the age of 18 have been shot in Durham so far this year. Thanks for being with us here. I'm Ashley Rowe. And I'm Lena Tillette. Most recently, this two-year-old, this adorable two-year-old here named Minari, was killed in a drive-by shooting. WRAL's Monica Casey spoke with one of the owners of Weaver and Peaks Memorial Funeral Care. Monica, Minari is not the first young victim of violence they buried. That's right. Curtis Peaks tells me this violence takes a toll and weighs heavy on his heart. While that funeral business right now is focused on dignity and closure for families, he is hoping they can get involved sooner and make a difference before these tragedies happen. The toll it takes on me, it forces me to keep these families in my prayers more nonstop continually to keep them lifted in prayer. After the loss of a loved one, Weaver and Peaks Memorial Funeral Care works to help families through the transition. That process is made more difficult by the youth of some of the victims of gun violence in Durham. Almost exactly a year ago, they buried five-year-old Chloe Fennell in a pink and white polka dot casket, a tribute to her love for Minnie Mouse. Now they'll bury another little girl, two-year-old Minari, who was shot in a drive-by and died died over a week later. WREL spoke with her mother, Shakresha Spears. Whenever my heart's heavy, I go to God, and I just like, God, can you just help me through this hard time? Curtis Peaks tells me they want to be part of the solution. Seems unreal, it's unsafe, and something that we definitely want, want to stop because it's happening too frequently. He and his business partner have plans to create a community enrichment program working with other organizations in Durham. Children could come in for mentorship, and learn how to conduct business, learn how to tie a tie, learn how to do things that older people taught us how to do. He also encourages the people behind these shootings to put the guns down. Get rid of the anger, come out of wherever you are, whatever place is drawing you to negativity, to drugs, to violence. My message to you is there's a way out. Minari leaves behind an older sister who is just three years old. Durham police are still looking for the person who killed her. In Durham, Monica Casey, WREL News.